I might be playing reserve grade, but I'm not done yet, that's for sure. Ever since I was a 10-year-old boy, I was to play in the NRL, so um, I'm very fortunate I have lived that dream. I've played many seasons at the top level, but um, I don't feel like my journey's um, done yet. It was a bit of a shock, I'm not gonna lie, when I come to the realization that I had no club, and um, especially after the World Cup, which I thought I played really well in. Uh, there was touch and go with a few clubs, but um, nothing really progressing, which was a bit frustrating. Newtown actually came knocking. For me, I'm, I'm really grateful to play at a special club like that. It is a foundation club. Uh, me being a local boy as well, I used to kick the footy around Henson Oval and to play there now, it's like I've done the full circle. So I'm not happy that I'm not playing NRL, but um, playing for Newtown is second best. They've got a massive following, massive fan base, and um, yeah, I've had great support so far. Game day, baby. Off to Henson Oval for the Great Beer Festival, which we play every year. It's a massive day. The vibe is, is pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Supporters just come out in force, like they really get amongst it and uh, as a player, that's what you wanna play in front of, you know, those passionate fans on the hill, kids running around. That's what footy's all about. The last couple of years of my career, I've been kind of coaching and kind of been um, that kind of mentoring uh, role. It's been, it's, it's awesome. I, I love giving back as much as I can and, um, you know, especially uh, the boys leaning off my experience. I've got a wealth of knowledge that I can pass down. He'd be a good coach. Even at training now, he's engaged and he's willing to share the knowledge that he has. So he'd be definitely very hands-on. That's the kind of guy Josh is. I'll probably like to delve into a specialist coach. Um, if it's outside backs, you know, kick catching, particularly coming out of yardage, I feel like outside backs are really crucial to getting sets started in, in the NRL these days. And it's always been my strength. If that opportunity came, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going for it 100%. If you got fire, you Eighth one of the world, Henson Park. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day today. Even though I'm not playing, I still wanna get amongst it just because like, it's my passion. Come out to a packed, packed crowd, it's, it's uh, the greatest feeling. It's like a, a shot of adrenaline just going through your veins. I'm dying to get out there. I'm gonna admit, I'm not the best watcher, you know what I mean? I just wanna get out there. I'm pretty vocal on the sideline, pretty passionate, as you can tell. Can Josh get back into the NRL? He's definitely professional enough, driven enough. So it's just whether or not an NRL club is ready to take, I guess, a chance. And it's funny to say when you're saying that, we're talking about Josh, who's played so many NRL games and he's been around for so long. But I think that's what it's going to take, someone to take a chance on Josh and just to see what he can give him. And it's not so much what he's also doing on the field, but it's all the off-field stuff that you're going to get from him as well. I'll never ever forget the day I, I laced up my boots i done my first footy session and it's like something was embedded and planted in my head and it never left. I always wanted to play in the NRL. And that was one dream that I was just, I'll go to bed, sleeping, waking up, just thinking about footy. I knew what I wanted. I always wanted to play in the NRL. To be honest, there's no plan. I'm just taking it as it comes. I've lived that motto most of my life and I don't want to really force anything into happening. At the moment, I'm playing. I still got the passion, still got the motivation. I'm enjoying myself. You got the power.